Hello, Greentown Wesleyan Church. I've been thinking, you know, it, it, it's interesting to me how the bad things always seem worse than the good things seem good in our life. I think this is true because we condition ourselves to see the negative. We condition ourselves to always pick out the bad and the worse before and, and sometimes instead of what is good in our lives. And this whole ordeal that we're going through now makes it even easier. We scroll through Facebook and we see more people fighting and arguing and, and it's so easy to find all of the people that disagree with us politically or socially or anything else and only see the bad only see the negative. But we weren't created for this. We weren't made to see the bad. We were made to see the good. As I've been thinking about this, I've been thinking about Jonah. And in the Bible, how, how Jonah sees the bad. He sees the negative in every opportunity that God gives him. And when we read the story of Jonah, sometimes it's easier for us to see the negative than it is for us to see the divine and the holy. G. Campbell Morgan has this quote about the book of Jonah, and it says, men have been looking so hard at the great fish that they failed to see the great God. And it's true. It's true in the book of Jonah, but it's also true in our own lives. We see the great fish, we see the, the, the struggle, we see the pain, but we fail to see our great God in the midst of it all. I think about Jonah, he is the anti-hero. Like he does everything wrong in the book of Jonah. Everything. He misses it over and over and over again. But in the second chapter, we see this little glimmer where he gets it right. He's sitting in the belly of the fish. He's stuck in this gross fish and he sings a song. He has this prayer and it is not the song of the grossness of the fish like you and I would sing in the middle of the circumstances we're going through in the belly of quarantine and social distancing. No, he sings a song about the greatness of God. He gets it just for a moment, he gets it. And maybe we can do better than just for a moment getting it. Listen to the words that he says. This is, this is Jonah chapter two. It says, then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the stomach of the fish, and he said, I called out of my distress to the Lord, and he answered me. I cried for help from the depths of Sheol. You heard my voice. For you had cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the current engulfed me. All your breakers and billows pass over me. So I said, I've been expelled from your sight. Nevertheless, I will look again toward your holy temple. Water encompassed me to the point of death. The great deep engulfed me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. I descended to the roots of the mountain. The earth with its bars was around me forever. But you have brought up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. While I was fainting away, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. Those who regard vain idols forsake their faithfulness, but I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving that which I have vowed I will pay. Salvation is from the Lord. He prays this prayer. He sings this song not about his circumstances, but about his God. Not about the bad, not about the negative, but about God, the good, holy, just, loving God that we serve even in the midst of these bad circumstances. And when he prays this prayer, he's in the fish. He's in all that gross fish stomach stuff when he says this. He's not in a wonderful place. His circumstances aren't great, but the truth of how great our God is, even in bad circumstances, is absolutely true. And it's once he realizes this, once he sings this, that God has the fish spit him back out. And that's when he gets out of it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know that when we acknowledge how great God is in the middle of our circumstances, that always means that our circumstances get better. I don't, I don't think that's true. But it's not about our circumstances. It's never been about our circumstances. It's always been about how great our God is. And listen to me today. In the middle of everything else, God is still great. He is all loving. He's all powerful. He's always with us. He never leaves us. I know things aren't ideal, but God's better than ideal, better than we can dream or imagine. 
Let's choose to live in his presence and remember the greatest place we can ever be is in God's presence. Whether he's present in the belly of a fish or on high mountains, God's with us. May God be with you today and you with him. I love you. I can't wait to see you again real soon.